As far as fighters go, I usually stick closer to the 2D anime variety. I find more of a liking to the stylistic and flashy nature of the characters and world. However, after seeing Grand Blue Fantasy Versus when it was first revealed, my preferences didn't really matter. I just knew I had to play it. Thankfully, Side Games launched a closed beta weekend for the game and I could finally get my hands on it. I'm Azara Lopez and this is Noisy Pixels preview for Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Closed Beta. <laughs> Grand Blue Fantasy Versus introduces some interesting fighting mechanics where each character has a set of skills that can be used in combination of a light, medium, or heavy attacks. The four skills are unique to each character and are tied to the R1 button. Each time a skill is used, it has a cooldown phase, so spanning skills isn't the best way to get through battles. Also, timing is pretty crucial and skills can be cancelled or countered by the opponent, which makes for some pretty interesting fights. Additionally, each character has a couple of special attacks that are blockable, but when they land, they sure are flashy. Unblockable skills and projectiles can also be countered and players can utilize a crossover that can dodge projectiles but can also be caught in a throw or a low attack. What took me some time to get used to was the speed at which the battles take place. Developer Arc Systems Works is known for its fast anime fighters but Grand Blue Fantasy Versus doesn't really have the same speed of the developer's previous lineup. The game takes things a little slower and requires strategic input to chain together combos. However, this doesn't make it too complicated thanks to the game's simplistic button scheme and mechanics. The visual appeal of the game is gorgeous and I don't know how the developers were able to put something together so beautiful. The environments come alive and change throughout the battle, which can even be distracting for me because I just wanted to stop fighting and enjoy the foreground animations. Before and after a fight, the characters will interact with each other differently depending on the matchup, which for fans created some pretty interesting moments. What's great is how the characters know they are friends, and after a fight with a peer, they'll smile or reach out their hand to help the character up. The Grand Blue Fantasy IP is a precious one, with plenty of stories to tell between a lively cast of characters. What's great about Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is how it preserves these stories and relationships within a fighting game experience. With balance being the key factor in fighting games, Grand Blue Fantasy offers a nice roster of characters who each have a decent moveset to make each matchup a fair experience. I found the most fun playing as fair or Catalina, but I could see myself playing as Charlotta as well in the future. After playing around 6 hours of the game's closed beta, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus is looking to be a solid anime fighting experience. While the speed of the game might be something that players will need to get used to, I believe that the strategic nature of when and when not to burn skills will create some of the most fun to watch fights that the community has ever seen. I can't wait to see more of the environments and dive deeper into the game's roster of playable characters. For now, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixels is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.